Given a binary tree return the in order traversal of its nodes values, how can you do that? That's today's video. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going through lead code problem 94, binary tree in order traversal. This is a very classic interview or computer science problem. This is the problem description given this tree is returning output 132. Before we dive into this, first let's quickly understand what is in order traversal. In order traversal of a binary tree means we visit the left node first, that's the first step. Second step is that we visit the current node itself. Last step, the, for it's a binary tree, it must have two children, right, for a full binary tree, left and right, then we visit its right. So these three steps, left, node, and right, L and R, this is the order that how we can traverse through a binary tree. Now we can walk through one example. Suppose we're given this binary tree, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For every single node, we're going to do to visit left, node, right, left, node, right. We're always going to do this. So in the very beginning, we will give an access to the root node, which is this one, the node with value 1. So we'll first we'll visit the left side of this root of, of this root node, which is 2, right? So we cross this out and then we visit this one. Again, this one has a left child, so we'll visit this one's left child. This one cross out, we we'll visit this one. So this one will attempt to visit this node's left child, but it doesn't have anything, so it's gone. Then we'll visit this node itself. Only at this moment we'll visit, we'll visit this node itself. So here we have a list to put, which holds every single element that we have visited into this list. So this is the final in-order traversal list we're going to return for this binary tree. Okay, then we have visited this node. Next step following this order is going to visit this node's right, right, which is this one. We visit, then still for this node, we'll continue left node right, this order, so left. It had, a 7 does have a left child, which is 8. So again, we'll attempt to visit the left child of 8. It doesn't have anything, so we'll visit node itself. We'll add 8 into this list. And then we'll visit right. right would we'll attempt to visit right of 8, which doesn't have anything, we'll return, right? We'll return to where? Return to this node. Now we'll put 7, right? 7 is the node that should be added into the final output. And then we'll continue this order. Continue to visit right, right of 7, the right child of 7, which is 9. 9 will attempt to visit the left child of 9. It doesn't have anything. Okay, we'll go to the node, which is 9. Add 9 into the list and 9 to the list. Then we cross node out. We'll attempt to access the right child of 9. doesn't have anything. We'll finish. And then we have gone through all of these, the right side of the node with value 4, and then we'll back to, we'll back to here, right? Now we, we add 2 into the list. 2 is the node, and then we'll attempt to access the right side of 2. doesn't have anything. We'll, we'll go back, right? And then we come here. Now we add 1 into this list. We finished visiting 1. Then we'll start visiting the right side of 1, which is 3. 3 has a left. Okay, we put 5 into the list first. And then 5 doesn't have any left or right. So, okay, then we're back to 3. So we add a 3, since this is the node. Then we cross 3 out, the node out, and then we'll visit the right side of 3, which is 6. We'll attempt to access the left side of 6, doesn't have anything. So we'll add 6 as the node into the list, and then we'll try to attempt the right side of 6, doesn't have anything. So now we're finished. So this is the final output list that we get to return for the in-order traversal of this binary tree. Then we can quickly put this idea into the actual code. We can use write a very simple recursive program to do this, which is what we'll just call it DFS. Uh, root node, new array list. Then we'll have, we'll write a private function to help us to do so. Private, private, we'll call it DFS, tree node, root, then a new, no, list, integer, we'll just call it list. And then here, what we'll do is first we'll check if root equals now, then we'll just return list. Otherwise, we traverse through the left, right? So we'll assign list to be root left side, the current list. 
Otherwise, we'll add the current root dot value into the list. Add root val into the list. In the end, we'll just return. What are we going to return? Is the right side. We'll go through the right side. That's the entire recursive function. So remember, what we did is that we always visit left node right, left node right, right? So that's why we have it here. Um, left, we visit left. So these three lines, these three lines are doing exactly what we went through in the slides here. Left, node, right. So this is what we're doing. Left, we always visit left. We're trying to find the left node first if it is, exists. If it doesn't exist, we'll just return list. And then put that list, in, assign that one after recursive call into this list. And then we add the current root, which is the node, which is the current node. This node, this node, this node. We add that node value into this list, and in the end, we will traverse through the right side, which is we'll return root on right list. Now let's hit submit and see. It's accepted. And then what's the time complexity of this recursive solution? It's going to be O n. n is the number of nodes in this given binary tree. And what's the space complexity of this recursive function is going to be the worst case is going to be O n n is still the number of nodes, but in the average case is going to be O log n, which is the height of the tree. Suppose we are given a very kind of bi kind of balanced binary tree, so it's going to be O log n. But in space complexity, what we always are in both in big O notation, space and time complexity, we always talk about the worst case. So worst case space complexity is also O n. N is the number of nodes in this given binary tree because in the very skewed case, this is this binary tree could be a, just a, a linked list to put in the binary tree fashion. One node, the root node always have, always only has the left child and every single left child only has a left child. It doesn't have any right child. So it's, it's going to be it's extremely skewed. In that case, in the worst case, it's going to be O n times time complexity as well. I hope this video helps everybody to understand how the in order traversal in the recursive fashion really works, how the code really flows, and how you can think through this problem. If that's the case, please do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube al algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as we're going through three series of problems right now. After this, we'll go through sorting and searching algorithms, and then we'll do dynamic programming. So please subscribe and tap the little bell notification so that each time when I publish a new video, you're not going to miss out on anything. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.